Hey there, YouTube fans. How you going, man? So you saw the title. Um, I'll just turn this mic down a little bit. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, I'm so happy about my weight loss the last several weeks, like about six weeks. I'm using the Niwa right in front of me, by the way. NW800, which is the 700 inside. Um, oh, I need my glasses. Here we go. So, yeah, so I'm 148 point nine this morning which is fantastic for me um, still got a long way to go but you know every bit helps um, so here's my meds what I'm taking gluco bay this is for diabetes 100 milligrams in the morning so this is all morning uh, low dose naltrexone about 1.5 milligrams bariatric bariatric vitamins half a tablet um, some coffee or caffeine, 50 milligrams in the morning. Some berberine, 500 milligrams. And spirulina, one gram. Oral rehydration solution every now and then. Inositol, two grams, plus folate. Uh, one tablet, which is 0 0.5 micrograms, 500 micrograms, I think. Jardiance, five milligrams then lunchtime i'm taking 100 milligrams of gluco bay again 200 uh well about 500 milligrams of berberine between 250 and 500 trying for 500 milligrams of berberine and then that's it and gluco bay in the pm uh 100 milligrams low dose naltrexone again about 1.5 milligrams at 4 p.m half a tablet of bariatric vitamins, um, 500 milligrams of berberine, then something like Metamucil or Coloxyl. Uh, so the Coloxyl would be two tablets, the Metamucil would be three teaspoons in soda water. Spirulina, one gram, again, oral rehydration solution every now and then, one satchel, let's say. I make it myself though. Inositol, two grams, and folate, one gram. So the, that inositol is, um, as per the research for metabolic problems and polycystic ovarian syndrome or diabetes and all that, that's why I'm adding the folate in. It's very cheap, just you know, just just to be sure, it doesn't doesn't hurt if if I don't need it. Um, what with this protocol something in there and honestly most of that is reasonably priced this is why i just i can keep doing it i've had blood tests and everything and everything seems fine but check with your own doctor this is just what i'm doing right that's my disclaimer this is just for me you might be a different story but everything seems to be fine the good news with um with when i have food right is what's happening now um, two things, um, the most incredible weight loss that I've had since I've had gastric sleeve is happening, frankly. It's just really amazing. And part of the reason is I will eat and I still will be hungry and I'll just go, like, I'll feel like I just don't want any more. I just, I don't have an appetite. I'm not interested. Like, even though I'm hungry, I just don't want to eat. That's exactly what I wanted to happen just no appetite and and i'm hoping that my body is just being more sensitive sensitive to insulin or something whatever's going on i don't care what's going on but it's like my body realizes hey i don't need any more i've got this body fat that i can call on now and it's kind of eating it or eating it off and it's something like 0 0.37 grams per week weight loss which is completely healthy by the way that's completely healthy weight loss um and so it's just it's just great there's only one complaint i have last night i had a horrible horrible night of pain and with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome it's not like you can take a tablet and it'll just go away sorry about that it's just stopped 
twice now. I don't know what its story is. I can't read it fast enough. Anyway, what I was saying about fibromyalgia, right? I had a really rough night last night. And it's not like you can just take a pill and the pill and the pain goes away. It's it's basically neurological pain. Um, so I had a really really rough night, and part of it is. I'm finding it hard to get my dosage of low-dose naltrexone right, but I'm working on it. I even took uh, two milligrams today just to be sure, and 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 then I'll I'll back off, you know, tomorrow because I can't have a night like that again. It was just horrible. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. That seems to be working really well. Um, so happy about that. I'll keep you updated, but yeah, so. Check with your own doctor before you, before you do anything. Tell me how this knee where cheap mic sounds. If you don't touch anything, it sounds pretty good, I think. And I'll leave it there. God bless. Teach yourself out. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ciao.